If you've got cartridges that are not recognized in your Epson printer, watch because there's a trick and you'll thank me for this video. I've been going crazy with this problem with the cartridges for the last two hours. Look at my hands. I can't and it's an easy trick you guys. I've learned this so easy. You just turn off your printer, wait for about a minute and when I say turn it off, I mean unplug the printer completely, then wait, then plug it back in, take off all your cartridges, turn the printer back off, at least that's what I did and it worked for me. Turn it off with an empty cartridge. When it comes back, it's gonna say that all your cartridges are empty and you're like, yes, that's what we want. I think that's at that point where the chip is actually starting to work and recognize that there's something wrong because you've got no cartridges. You turn that off, you turn it on. The printer is saying no cartridges. You install them then, you open it up and you're like, okay, let's install the ink. You install the cartridges only at the point when the printer is showing you that there's no cartridges inside. They're all empty because you just took them off. What is this voice behind the camera? It's my little girl saying yes they are. And then when you put them all in, it's going to say initializing and bam, you've got all the cartridges in. I'm going to talk about this one more time just so that it's easy for you. Once the printer is empty, you turn it off. So your printer has no cartridges, hence the fact that they're, it's on my hands. What? Turn it off. You turn it back on. It should say cartridges are empty. Your printer cannot recognize any of the cartridges. That's a good sign. That means the chip at Epson has realized that there's nothing inside the printer. Once you see that message, you put all the cartridges back in. And once you close and say complete it, it's going to say initializing because it's trying to understand what happened now because you've got all the cartridges all of a sudden in. And that's when it's going to work. It's going to work for you. I know it. It's going to recognize all the cartridges right away. So I hope this video helps you because I took two hours to understand how to do this and I finally did. So passing this information on, this has happened to me after I did the last firmware upgrade on my Epson 610 printer. I wish I didn't, but I had to because it started glitching on me. So that's when this whole fun stuff happened and then I'm like, what do I do? So hopefully I'm gonna save you two hours, do this trick and your cartridges are gonna be installed. The chip is gonna finally realize after all of them are empty, that yes, indeed there are cartridges in there in your printer. Have a good printing and I'll see you soon. Never know, talking like Geronimo, get dropped down.